Imagine that this is your baby's heartbeat that you're hearing for the very first time. Now imagine that as a woman, this sound may never become a reality for you. Infertility is a common problem in our society, but there are options out there. One of these options being egg donation. Well, I've been struggling to conceive for quite a while, and my husband and I decided to find help with the fertility expert. And when I was busy going through my IVF treatments, I met a lot of women that are going through the same thing. But some of them were even in a much more desperate situation than I was. They couldn't produce their own eggs. So Dr. Vizvela spoke to me because he's the head of KFTD Clinic. He said they have a huge problem. The waiting lists are too long and they don't have enough donors. And at that time I was running a recruitment agency. Then he asked me if I could assist them and that's how it started. Then I started recruiting for the clinic. This is Mabali Lechle. She is the founder of Egg Donation South Africa, which is a well-established and successful egg donation program. This program helps couples to realize their dreams of becoming parents. Mabali explains what an egg donation program is all about. Basically, we have women that can conceive with their own eggs. They would need an assistant with an egg donor. What we do, we recruit egg donors, and our egg donors go through some blood tests just to check if they are healthy enough to actually donate. Then they go for a psychological assessment as well, just to check if they can actually handle the whole thing. And if they pass that, then it involves from the medical side, seeing the doctor, getting the stimulation done, and the actual retrieval of the eggs. I visit Cape Fertility Clinic in Claremont to speak to Dr. Klaus Vizvedal. I walk into the reception area. The air is filled with the scent of lilies and I spot a huge vase of beautiful flowers on a table. The area is decorated with plush furniture in earthy tones of reds, oranges and browns. I think that this is not like the usual doctor's rooms, as I look at three women and a man sitting comfortably, quite at ease, some flipping through magazines and others watching a documentary on a plasma TV against the wall. Dr. Vizvedal comes out to greet me and takes me through to his office to discuss egg donation. The most important thing is it's an accepted program. It helps a lot of people. And one has to understand the predicament uh, many women find themselves in. They are forced indirectly by their social background, their partners, to have children. And if they're prevented by any cause, this is a good way out. And it still allows them to have her own child and which of course is genetically from the father as well. So I think it's, it's a very good treatment program which we have. Dr. Visvedal is a robust man, casually dressed in jeans and a checked shirt. He started Cape Fertility Clinic in 1993, and it has since become one of the most successful fertility clinics in South Africa, with a very high pregnancy rate. The egg donation procedure is relatively simple, and doesn't affect a donor's everyday life or her ability to conceive. The recipient of the eggs takes very little medications, only tablets to build up the lining of the womb and make the womb ready for implantation of an embryo. The donor, on the other hand, must go through the IVF program, meaning she needs daily injection for about 8 to 10 days to stimulate the egg production. Then on around day 13, 14 of her cycle, she must go into theatre, I was a very light anesthetic, the eggs are taken out. There's no operation really involved, it's done via ultrasound through the vagina. Those eggs which we get from the donor, they get fertilized in the laboratory by the husband of the recipient, and then in the laboratory, embryos grow for between three and five days, and after five days, those embryos get transferred back into the recipient's womb. Dr. Visvedal takes me on a tour of the clinic. All right, I'm going to take you now to the embryo transfer room because from there we can look into the laboratory which is the heart of the clinic. The embryo transfer room is a small white room with a bed in the center. I look through a window into the sophisticated laboratory where a woman in green scrubs is working. But if you come around here please and see this window here and so through that window you can look into the laboratory. Now the laboratory itself is a highly sterile area now you see all those big boxes there, these are incubators. Now in those incubators, and we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them, in those incubators we incubate the embryos. First the sperm and the egg go together into a fluid and there fertilization takes place in a little dish. Given a part of what you own physically is no easy feat, 
but the gift of life is priceless and should not be taken for granted. There are a lot of couples that are struggling and they go through a lot of pain. I know you take it for granted that one day when you want to have your own kids, it's going to be possible. But I would like to think that one day when I can't produce my own egg, somebody else might be able to help me. Giving a gift of life, it's the most precious thing you can do as a woman to another woman. Some people think this is, is not natural, it's unethical to do these things. I just want to say it's perfectly legal in South Africa to do it. It's done openly, it's done with consent of the parties who take part in that and done in many, many countries all over the world. So it's a transparent process and it allows women who otherwise would not be able still to have her own child. The chance for a woman to fall pregnant with egg donation is between 65 and 70 percent per treatment cycle. It's a very, very high pregnancy rate. If you are struggling to conceive, just knowing that there is help out there, I think that gives a lot of hope. Empower yourself with knowledge. And as possible donors, empower yourself with knowledge as well. For more information, visit www.eggdonationsouthafrica.co.za or www.capefertilityclinic.co.za Reporting from Cape Town, I'm Kirsten Price.